Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner, and today we are going to be going in depth on the Umarex Gauntlet 2 in 22 caliber. Now, the Gauntlet 2 was announced right around just before summer of 2021, uh, and obviously is the successor to the ever-popular Gauntlet. Uh, it has a lot to live up to, and Umarex has done a pretty good job of enhancing the original Gauntlet to give you quite a bit more power and also add in some other very much needed features uh, that a lot of you guys asked for with the original Gauntlet. I think the best way to compare though and talk about some of these upgrades and enhancements is to pull out an original gauntlet. So I have that here. Now, looking at the original gauntlet compared to the gauntlet 2, you have some striking difference, obviously, in the looks of the stock. The stock is Umarex's tactical precision stock, and it has a lot of nice enhancements over this original gauntlet 1 stock. Uh, the biggest one being a lot thinner, a lot easier in the hand, not as bulky, answering a lot of the calls from folks out there that just didn't seem to love this stock. They've still kept the adjustable cheek piece, and they've also added a number of M-lock slots on onto the fore end of the stock for your accessories, your bipods and what have you. One thing they have done away with though is this adjustment wheel for the cheek piece. The cheek piece on the Gauntlet 2 adjusts with two Allen screws, very simple to do, and it's cut out a considerable amount of weight. That's an important enhancement here as well. Umarex wanted to keep the weight of the gun right about the same as the original Gauntlet, and considering what they've added in a bigger bottle and a much beefier breech block assembly, you are talking about the same eight and a half pounds, which is very impressive. Now, starting at the front of the gun, when we're talking about the differences between the original Gauntlet and the Gauntlet 2, uh, let's start with that bottle. So on the original Gauntlet, you will remember in 22 caliber, you are talking about a 13 cubic inch, 3000 PSI fill uh, bottle with an 1100 PSI regulator. Now, in the Gauntlet 2, they have nearly doubled the size of the bottle. This is a 24 cubic inch bottle, and the regulator pressure has been boosted to 1900 PSI here in the 22. It's a little bit higher in the 25, just something to keep in mind there. Now, again, the original Gauntlet filled the 3000 PSI, which was great for you hand pumpers. The biggest change here for those of you out there that maybe don't have a tank or a compressor yet is the Gauntlet 2 fills to a full 4500 PSI, so a much higher fill pressure and they've done that not only to go along with that higher reg pressure, but also to maintain the stellar shot count that the original Gauntlet was known for. Uh, they claim over 70 shots in the 22 caliber here. Of course, we're going to go ahead and put it to the test over the chronograph, so we'll see how it comes in when it all shakes out. Now, another big change that they've made between the original Gauntlet and the two is the bolt handle. Now, one of the big complaints with the original Gauntlet was it was kind of stiff cocking. Um, you know, if you were trying to pull it back like a bolt action rifle, it can be a little difficult. Personally, not a big problem for me, um, but I understand why most folks had that issue. So what Umarex has done with the G2 is actually give you an upgraded bolt handle, which is nice and beefy. You have a nice knurled end here, um, and they've also managed managed to reduce the cocking effort by about 15%. That's what they say anyway. I don't have a good way to measure it. Um, but one thing I will tell you is that while it was a little stiff out of the box, we put about a thousand shots through this now, uh, and it is super smooth and a lot easier than the original. Uh, a little pro tip for you guys, if you're having trouble cocking this gun, put your thumb at the back of the action here, wrap a couple fingers around that knurled knob, and just pull straight back. Super easy. If you try and operate this gun like a bolt action rifle and just holding that bolt, you're going to have some difficulty. So that'll make your life a little bit easier. But this is a very nice upgrade from Umarex. Now, the last two changes we're going to talk about here are a bit more subtle. Uh, you've probably noticed already that the Gauntlet 2 sports a Picatinny rail on top here. Personally, I like Picatinny mounts a lot. It's a little bit easier to swap on and off, take it off if you need to travel, what have you. Uh, but the nice thing about this is Umarex has actually secured these Picatinny rails on with set screws, so the original 11 millimeter dovetail is still present. Now, what that's going to allow you to do is run your scope just a little bit lower to that bore if you want to. 
Personally, I'm gonna stick to the Picatinny mounts, but like I said, it's a nice little option to have if you think you need it. Uh, the other change that they've made is to the baffle system. Now, uh, same shroud setup, but obviously with the Gauntlet 2, you're talking about a lot more power. So without redesigning the baffles, they would have had a much louder gun. So in order to keep that nice low sound profile that the original Gauntlet was known for, they've redesigned the baffles uh, and you are still getting a very quiet experience. We'll obviously put it on the sound meter for you and you'll see for yourself but i think you will be impressed when we talk about how much power this is putting out and how little noise that's coming out of this thing now the rest of the features on the g2 are largely the same as what you had on the gauntlet one you still have your quick disconnect fill fitting you have your pressure gauge on the other side your trigger safety is the same setup you still have the same trigger which can be adjusted but you do need to remove the stock uh, you also have your degassing port and the tool for that is the same. Uh, cocking function is the same as well. So when you want to go ahead and load your magazine, you go ahead, throw that bolt into the back section. You take your 10 round mag in 22 and you load it right into the breech there from the right hand side. Very simple. And these are the same mags so you can reuse your original gauntlet mags, which is a nice touch also. A decocking procedure, exactly the same. You hold that bolt back, you go ahead, pull the trigger, and you are safe, decocked, good to go. Now, uh, again, as I mentioned before, the cheek piece is still adjustable, although the method to do that is a bit different, um, and your sling swivel studs are also a bit different on this version. You have a QD mounting point at the back, and then here at the front, you're gonna wanna use one of those M-lock slots to uh, get an adapter and mount your sling that way. Uh, other than that, that's about the differences, the similarities between the one and the two. Now let's get to the nitty gritty stuff and head out to the range and see how the Gauntlet 2 performs. All right, so accuracy on the Gauntlet 2 in 22 caliber, pretty solid results overall. You have the JSB standard monsters. Now these are the 25.4s, the heavyweights, not the redesigns though. Uh, just under an inch here for all 10 shots. Moving on, the JSB 18.13s. You can see I threw one there but you have a seven eighths inch group in total and three quarters of an inch, nine out of 10, very solid. The H&M Barracuda matches also did pretty well at a one inch group as well, but the very best is the monster redesigns, JSBs, uh, five eighths inch for all 10 shots. This is a stellar group, exactly what we've come to expect from the Gauntlet line of guns and uh, is gonna create a ton of power. But speaking of, let's put the gun over the chronograph and see what these are doing. So taking our JSB Jumbo Monster redesigns over the chronograph with the Gauntlet 2, you are looking at over 90 shots on a fill from 4,500 PSI down to the reg pressure of 1,900 PSI. That's really impressive. They're only rating the gun for 70 or over. Uh, so to get another 20 on top of that's really phenomenal, obviously, meaning you don't need to fill this gun all the way up to 4,500 PSI to get a ton of shots. So for you hand pumpers out there, or those of you running on setups that maybe don't output 45 or 4350 or something like that, you're still gonna get plenty of shots, but obviously almost 44 foot pounds of energy coming out of those monster redesigns with an extreme spread of just 10 feet per second and a standard deviation of just 1.7 feet per second. The numbers are very impressive. And if you compare them back to the original gauntlet, you are getting more shots. Now, obviously that's coming with a higher fill pressure, but you're getting way more power and way more shots. And really that's what the gauntlet two is doing for you. It is building upon what was already pretty impressive.
So let's run down the gauntlet to here. Uh, personally, guys, I think Umarex has done a great job of following up the original gauntlet. Very hard thing to do with such a game-changing rifle, but they've taken this in a very cool direction. They've created a real powerhouse air gun uh, at just a few dollars more, right around 400 bucks or so. This gun packs a ton of power, a ton of shots, as you saw, uh, into a pretty nice package. You know, the gun is still eight and a half pounds. It is on the heavier side of the market, but it's not too bad to you know manage, get around with, uh, and the stock changes. While personally, the aesthetic is not my favorite. Uh, I like the color. I just don't like the blockiness of the stock, but it does feel good and it handles well also. Uh, I love the incorporation of the M-Lock slots. The fact that they've still managed to keep it quiet while upping the power to nearly 45 foot-pounds of energy in 22 uh, is pretty insane. And like I said before, the shot count is phenomenal as well. Uh, and most importantly, this thing's damn accurate. Uh, basically, a little over a half-inch group at 45 yards is stellar i mean that's exactly the high standard that the original gauntlet set that the gauntlet 2 is certainly carrying on uh, so overall for me guys the gauntlet 2 is a definite winner one i'm glad to see hit the market uh, and one i hope you will all check out if you are looking to get into the pcp game and looking for a gun that can really reach out and touch something with authority as always hope you enjoyed today's video for the insider i'm tyler patner don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, like, comment, subscribe here on YouTube. We appreciate it a ton, and we'll see you at the next one.